So you're talking about coerced control is actually really important for us because it helps us understand what we were growing up with. So for our whole lives, they were just small instances that happened every day. And actually, because we never knew what it was, we blamed ourselves for everything that was going on at home, for how we felt, for the lack of control that we felt we had on our lives was down to us. So actually talking about it is key because it's helped us, I suppose, see what we were living through. But also it helps us, um, you know, protect other people, but also talk about Mum and Charlotte and hopefully honour them, which is really important to both of us. I think a lot of it is from a lack of understanding. And one of the things, oh yeah, sorry, yeah. So I think the media um, misrepresents domestic abuse and mis misrepresents abuse of men because often they don't understand the root causes. Um, and that's not always from you know a bad place. I think it's just from the fact that we're all basically seeing things from the same perspective, which is incorrect. And, and Ryan and I have worked with a charity called Level Up to create guidelines that um, the press regulators have adopted. And hopefully that's a way of helping, um, helping journalists to understand the root causes. This is intentional, it's not emotional. You know, The fact that this isn't always violent, it can be carried out in more sophisticated ways. And, and helping people identify abuse is really key because um, at the moment I think it wasn't just us that didn't see it, it was everyone around us and even after the murders. So there's a lot of work to be done, not only after it's happened in the media's um, responsibility, but to help people see it before it gets to that point. So coercion control can be quite hard to spot because it, there won't be anything discreet happening. But what housing professionals can do is they can look for signs of control. So for example, you may go into house and you may see all of the man's things everywhere, but none of the woman's things, right? And if it's all decorated with the man's things, it might show a sense of ownership and control of, of the environment. You might see children who think and check on everyone else before they act, you know? People who are always thinking about the abuser, you know, they're controlling themselves before they act because they're afraid they might do something wrong. So what you might be looking for is control in the environment. You might be looking for people who seem overly inhibited, who seem afraid. And I think housing providers, as you said, being in the homes very often, will hopefully be able to be, um, you know, able to see those things which leak out of these environments.